Hi everyone, my name is Avnish. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can collect GSTIN number from your customers if you are using Razor Pay Payment Gateway to collect payments from your customers. So in this uh, whole procedure, we'll be needing two things. First is a Razor Pay account. You can sign up on their website and you'll be able to uh, collect payments via Razor Pay Payment Gateway. But if you are collecting payments uh, from this gateway, you'll have to need, you'll have to collect taxes uh, from a different software which is called Pabli subscription billing and apart from this if you want to collect uh, raise uh, if you want to collect GSTIN number so Pabli subscription billing will allow you to do that as well so it's a subscription management software which is filled with features you can create uh, hosted payment pages you can create your own affiliate program for your business uh, to multiply your revenue so now we'll see how the setup can be done so first thing is that uh, once you have created the Razorpay account and the Pabli subscription billing account, the setup of Pabli subscription billing is quite easy. You can watch our videos uh, which are available on our channel. And if you have signed up, you will find these video icons everywhere which will help you in setting up the account. After the setup, you'll have to integrate Razorpay with Pabli subscription billing. So the integration process involves going on the setting, payment gateway integration, and there is the list of gateways that can be integrated in front of Razorpay. Razorpay you'll have to click on connect now. This is going to redirect you to the login page of Razorpay. Since I'm already logged in, I'm getting uh, this option. So where I have to just click on authorize and the, my account is going to be integrated. So my account is already integrated. So I'll skip this procedure. But if you want to integrate, you'll have to allow that. So now coming to the GST IN collection process. So it involves three steps. First is You'll have to tell the system what you're selling and how many plans do you have. So for example, if you're selling ebooks and you your product is ebook and you have created plans for this, and the amount of your ebook is 100 rupees, and you want to collect 5% GST for this. So you have to you have to first set up a tax collection system. So tax collection system, we have a separate video on that. It is available that you can uh, watch while clicking the clicking on this icon as well as it is on our channel and then after you have set up the tax collection system uh, you need to enable one thing so let me show you so you see that the tax collection system is uh, already gen created in my account and when I'll select country I'll get these taxes added into the order total so you see that GST is 5% VAT is 10% so other total comes to 115 this is the amount that the customer is going to pay to us so now I'll close this and we'll move to a different checkout page so for example we are going to take this tiered plan the product is water bottles 5 rupees is for one quantities and now we'll enable a record tax ID feature which will give us a field of enter GST number here so customers can enter their GST number and when they enter their GST number while making the purchase it will be shown on the invoice so let me show you how that can be done we'll go back to settings and tax settings edit tax rules and record tax ID we'll delete that for a minute and you can do this you can enable record tax ID uh, while creating the tax rule so our tax rules have been updated now we'll refresh this page and we'll write name of the customer who's going to make the purchase and we'll write the email address okay now you see that the order total is five because there is no country selected but if we add a uh, country if we choose a country so you see that gst is added to this order total and we deleted the vat which is why there is no vat and 5.25 rupees is the order total that we will be collecting and now you see that this is the tax field that we were talking about this text is customizable let me show you how we'll go back to our products and plans and this is the plan that we are making uh, on which we were uh, collecting the tax so let me close all the tabs and this is the plan water bottles tiered plan so this is water bottle tiered plans we'll go back to we'll go to checkout customizer we'll find the tax id option and from here we can customize the tax which is shown on the 
check out page so right now it is enter tax id we can make it to enter gst number gst in so this is the tax that we want we'll save the changes and reload the page we'll write the na name email address again and we'll select the country the tax has been added gsti in field is available you can change this text to anything that you want so for now we will write as gst123 and make the purchase now we are on razor pay payment page we'll proceed with the purchase and we'll choose to pay via upi so i'll add this detail uh, i mean i'll scan this through my phone so i can make the payment and show you how the tax collection payment will gst in collection is going to work so the payment has been completed i paid through my phone by scanning the qr code and now we are on the Thank you page of Pabli subscription billing. You can totally customize this. So that means our transaction has been completed. Now we'll see where did we get the GSTIN number. So in Pabli subscription billing, whenever a checkout happens, uh, details get into added into uh, subscriptions tab invoices. So this is the invoice that has been generated for the transaction. And I'll click on this INV31 and there we have all the details of the customer who made the purchase. So the name is there, country is there, and this is the GSTIN number that they entered while making the purchase. So this is how you collect a GSTI number from your customers if you are collecting payments via Razor Pay Payment Gateway. If you have any difficulties uh, or in setting up the account or if you have any questions, let us know in the comments or simply write to us at admin at the rate pably.com so we can assist you. Thanks for watching.